Oh, sorry. Shh. Don't speak. Please, for the love of all things that are good, stay silent. These monsters have been chasing me for three days since I escaped the castle, and uh, it's a long story, but I promise to tell you it once I'm no longer being chased, okay? Just nod your head. If you promise, you'll be quiet. Okay, good. You see them? Right over there. Watch this. Okay. They're gone. Thank you. If it's not too much trouble, uh, is there a safe place for me to hide? Do you have any idea? It doesn't have to be anywhere fancy or too high class. I'm just tired of running for so long. I need a little break. Oh. The next town isn't for another few days? Oh. Just my luck. I'm sorry. If I may ask, what are you doing out here? If. The next village isn't for another few days journey. Why are you all the way out here? Do you live closer by? Oh. Nice little cottage. That sounds lovely. An herb? What? What herb? What are you trying to find it for? Mm-hmm. So, let me get this right. You're out here, looking for a special herb that is known to heal all sorts of illnesses, both known and unknown. You're trying to acquire it, to create a... Right, a healing potion for your entire family that's gotten ill. And you or the doctors have no idea what it is? Sorry to hear that. Out of all your family, you're the one who hasn't been sick yet? Oh. <laughs> well, yes. Being in charge of all the errands and outside chores would definitely keep you from being inside the house, that's for sure. Oh. Well, I... I happen to be somebody who's pretty skilled in spells and potions. Ones for healing, ones for hurting, and ones for illusion. Just like the one you saw not even a few moments ago. Hmm. Here's an idea. Or, or like a deal for you. If I can stay at your family's home for at least a night just to rest my legs, I'd be more than happy to look at your family and see if I can't identify the illness that they are suffering from. And, if possible, I can give them a little tonic. That's only if you're okay with that. It's something I brought with me to help with any fevers, to bring down any pain that anybody who takes it is suffering from. And to just, all in all, calm the nerves. How does that sound to you? Well, I'd also be able to help you understand a little more of that herb you're looking for. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. Alright. Well, when you're ready, lead the way. I'll follow you, and make sure that nobody is following us. Alright. That should help them for now. I'm sorry. Of all the illnesses and curses that have ever existed, 
This one is actually unfamiliar to me. I don't even know where to begin with it. And the only way to truly be able to understand what it is, is through experimentation on these subjects who are ill. And I'm not going to do that. But don't worry. It'll be okay for now. But unless we can find that herb, well... Oh, thank you, by the way, for letting me hide here for the night. I know, a deal is a deal, but still, I'm, I'm extremely grateful. Oh, my name is Kimira, but I prefer to go by Ki. Hmm? I don't mind. Your cabin is very lovely. I'm, again, very thankful that you were willing to hide me tonight. Oh, you're right. I told you, well, I promised you that I would properly tell you who I am and why I've been chased for three days by the Dark Lord's minions. You see, I grew up in the Shadow Kingdom. I was born there, actually. Once my mother saw how strong and powerful I was naturally with magic, she presented me to the Dark Lord himself as a gift in exchange for permanent protection and as a token as her faithfulness to his, to his rule. I was the one to be his gift under his teachings, I guess. I became one of his strongest witches after a few years of practice. He had one of his best tutors teach me, and over the years, he had me nearly brainwashed through my training. I won't go into the details exactly of what happened to me during that time, because honestly, I would much rather forget it, but I can tell you there was a lot of pain and death handed by me to many people for him, and they were all people who would not bow to his rule. He even brought me to war a few times, into certain battles, using me as his, well, as he put it so beautifully, his trump card to of the playing field. He, well, I'm sure you know by now, as if anybody doesn't. His plan is to find something and to ultimately take over all the surrounding countries and kingdoms until it's just him. He said, as long as I was loyal to him and his cause, my mother would be more than comfortable in her living situation. She would get many riches, men, gifts, and protection, as long as I remained loyal. I was almost completely brainwashed through all the training and killing and promises that he made and made me do until I started to suddenly dream of someone. They go by the marked one, and, well, I'll be honest, it was a little confusing. However, once I started dreaming of this marked one, I started to feel sick. Just the thought of causing senseless pain and harm to people, just, I could no longer do it. The Dark Lord thought I was feeling ill, and so he put me away into my special study room, where I also slept. He said that as long as I was staying in there, I would become healed, as I studied, of course, and soon enough be able to help him conquer the rest of the kingdoms that surround his. However, I did not feel better. I just kept dreaming of the marked one, and 
Soon enough, I realized that I had to escape. I had to escape and find who this marked one is and why I keep dreaming about them. Anyway, three days ago was the day that I escaped. I found a way to break the window, the barred window that I was looking out of. After using my magic to remove the bars, I scaled my way down the castle walls in the middle of the night. I was able to elude the guards and anybody else who seemed to be out on the streets in the evening, and well, once I made it out of the kingdom itself, I just started to run. I don't think it took the Dark Lord very long to realize what had happened. And so, I've been on the run ever since. He sent waves and waves of his minions after me. And I'll be honest, after three days of running and fighting, I've gotten pretty tired. That's why I was so desperate to keep you quiet when I first saw you. Because, well... For one, I didn't want you to get into danger. And two, because I was just so tired of running. But, yes, that is my story. Hmm? Who is the marked one? Well, like I said, I honestly have no idea. I tried to do some research in my study room while I was locked away, but unfortunately I had no luck. However, in my dreams, in my visions, I saw this, this oracle. It was, well, it was what I used to find a specific gemstone. It was meant to help me locate the marked one. It's very strange, and I don't blame you if you don't quite believe me. But... I assure you, I can sense that this oracle is very real. I just have to know where it is. Hmm? Ah. Well, yes. Of course, it can answer any question you have for it very truthfully. I mean, it is a source of unlimited knowledge. So it honestly can answer any question that you or I may have for it. Yes, I'm sure it knows the name of the herb and where to find it if you ask. Wait. I have another idea. Another deal, I guess. I... well... How would you feel about coming with me to find this oracle? That way, both you and I can get something out of it. You can ask about the herb, what it is, and where it's located, and I can find the location of the gemstone that I need to find this fabled marked one. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be very dangerous at times, so I totally, completely understand if you don't want to come with me. If possible, I could more than likely ask the oracle myself and then return to you with a message. No? You would rather come with me? Are you sure? Like I said, it can be extremely dangerous. You'll be running with a wanted woman. You've been starving for adventure. Well... Let me tell you, I truly appreciate it. Ah, this fire's real nice. Will your family be okay? Well, yes, yes, the tonic will keep them alive and in relatively small pain for at least three days. So we have at least three days to discover where the oracle is 
how to get to it, to find it ourselves, and to acquire the knowledge that we need from it. You'll do that? Really? <laughs> Anything for family. You're quite right. But, okay. That sounds like a very good deal that both you and I are going to go into. Ah. I don't know about you, but I am absolutely exhausted. I mean, running for three days would do that to anybody, I think. Why don't we both rest, and tomorrow we can start on this brand new journey together. <laughs>